The 2019 Financial Institution Sentiment Survey is the fourth in Lloyds Bank's annual series, exploring the topics that will shape UK financial services. Every year, Lloyds Bank carries out this research with more than 100 senior executives across the broad spectrum of financial institutions to explore some of the key themes that have shaped the UK financial services in the last year and that will set the agenda in the year ahead. Well, joining us to reveal some of the key findings of the survey is Rabina Barker-Bennett. She is Managing Director and Head of Financial Institutions at Lloyds Bank. So, Rabina, welcome to Cyboss TV. Thank you. Very busy day that you've had. Thank you for but having look, me. Tell us a little bit about your role, because it's a very big title. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as big as my name. Um, so, my team cover the relationships with financial institutions. Banks, um, which is the bulk of what we're seeing here, through to small fintechs, via insurance companies, asset managers. And our job is to sort of manage the bank's relationship with those clients, delivering whether it's transaction banking, a lot of what we're talking about here today, capital markets or lending. So whatever the bank's needs or insurance companies needs, my team to sort of deliver the bank for the clients. So it's a huge range. It is a big range, yes. You end up, um, the critical thing is really understand your clients and what they need, and then we bring in the experts as required to deliver for the clients. So tell us a little bit more about the, uh, about the Financial Institutions Sentiment Survey, another long name, yes. um, <laughs> and why it's so, why it's so important. Uh, the, the reason we started doing it and, and it and have continued is it feels that it's really important to understand what are the things that are really on the minds of senior executives in the financial services. The financial services sector is a huge sector for the UK. It delivers over 130 billion of um, revenue to the UK and employs 1.1 billion people across the entire country. Um, so understanding what it is that people are worried about what are the things that they're really exercising them feels important and something we should pay attention to. What's nice about the series is we're beginning to actually see how people's moods and um, things, the things that are really worrying them are changing over time. Some things are staying the same. Uh, and let's stay with that because, look, we, we know that the financial services are being conducted against this backdrop of extraordinary change. Yeah. So what is it that's keeping the leaders of those financial institutions awake at night? Clearly something is. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Um, and similar to last year, Brexit is the top, um, unsurprisingly. Um, we haven't quite got clarity of where we're going, and so that sort of unknown is clearly the thing that, that, that um, is affecting people. Mm. And the knock-on is the economic outlook. So one of the things that was really noticeable this year is people's view of the future has definitely come down versus last year. Um, that said, there is definite resilience. And so you did notice the difference between what people thought their own business would do versus the general economic climate. The biggest change this year, which I think is very interesting, partly being here at, at Cybos, is cyber. So cyber crime has jumped dramatically up the list from, I think, eighth to fourth place. So that is clearly the biggest change versus last year. Do you think these companies uh, involved are putting their money where their mouth is at the moment to manage this cyber risk? Yes, so if we, when we looked and asked people about where their investment cash is going, cyber is very high on the list of things that they're investing in. So it absolutely is something that people are looking at and trying to look at how they can um, invest to protect themselves and their clients. Mm. So which, which takes us back to technology. So clearly you've got a big investment which is going in there. But what else came up? What are the other bugbears, so to speak? So one of the things I think is probably less about concerns, but interestingly, it's the opportunities that people are seeing so what we're seeing is the big investment are things like in the IP apis and how do we enable clients to better access financial services so those are really the areas where we saw so the cyber is the protection but then people are looking at where are the opportunities to, to invest interestingly one of the areas where i expected to see a greater increase is blockchain but that actually that still is very low in people's priority um, interestingly Let's talk sustainable finance. Is it in an area uh, of opportunity for these financial institutions? It is something that comes up in every meeting. And in, interestingly, I had just as an anecdote, a client, when I asked them what was the most important thing for them, us looking forward, and they said sustainability. And so it is something that is becoming a, a thing that is exercising people. The difficulty is actually understanding how 
you actually deliver it. So there is massive intent and people are looking to invest more and more in sustainable, sustainability and supporting clients in it. The difficulty is actually finding enough ability to make use for the intent. So we had um, recently had a dinner up in Edinburgh on sustainability and there is a massive asset management community that want to invest in sustainability. At the moment, there is not enough to invest in to, d to deliver it. So there's greater interest than there is actually being able to put it to work. Mm. And what did the survey tell us about how firms see their responsibility to the wider community? community. This actually to me was the thing that pleased me most. 92% of the executives think that financial institutions have a social and corporate purpose over and above just delivering returns for their shareholder. That is a massive change from where we used to be. So it does feel that I think a lot of what we're seeing in the world with increasing um, requirement to see people actually doing something to improve our client, climate, but also just to bring society back together is clearly felt strongly by senior leaders in the financial services industry. It's interesting you mentioned bringing society back together with so much sort of uncertainty in the world and so much change going on at the moment. How are companies preparing themselves for the year ahead? Um, I think the most, the critical things that people are looking at is that's cyber protection. Um, and then it's the how do we unlock the sustainability piece and how do we then really harness technology to improve productivity. So again, sitting here in Cybos, the, that the conversations around how we're all investing in order to have better platforms, deliver better for our clients in a cheaper, more sustainable, pr productive way. So it very much comes to what we're talking about here. There is massive investment going on. All of us are investing to try and improve the platforms and capabilities that we have. So there's some extraordinary positives that have come out of this survey, which, yes. is, which is excellent in spite of the uncertainty posed by yes. the likes of Brexit. There is room yes. for optimism. So given that, what are your predictions for 2020? Um, whatever happens, financial services will continue to deliver for the country. And I think that understanding of that we have a role to play to help the client, the country come through, I think will probably step up. It may have to, depending on what happens politically, but I, I feel that there's resilience um, and there is a lot of potential Un underlying. So I think we're actually, despite everything, we're probably in a pretty good place mm. because the technology and just the capability that we now have probably will help get us through sure. what is a difficult so time. So it would have happened moment. anyway regardless of Brexit because yes. clearly that sentiment has always been there. It's just expanding really. Yes, yes. And I think the um, there is more, the, there's the political downside risk being offset by the fact actually the economy and our industry is in a good place. Okay. It's certainly nice to end things with some optimism <laughs> for the year ahead. <laughs> but in the meantime, uh, to be optimistic of the week ahead, I hope you thoroughly enjoy the rest Thank of Cybos 2019. Rabina Barker Bennett, Managing Director and Head of Financial Institutions at Lloyd's Bank. Thanks for joining us on Cybos TV. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.